Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about using the midpoint formula. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So the midpoint formula is really finding the midpoint on a line segment, okay? And the formula for that is M equals, we have is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. And these are the coordinates of the midpoint given our two points x1, y1 and uh, x2, y2. Now notice though that the when you see the graph of the midpoint here, okay, we have a line segment and the midpoint splits that line segment into two congruent segments and the midpoint is the exact middle there. So let's go find the midpoint of a line segment, okay? So number seven here, we have um, a line segment with endpoints seven, negative two, and nine comma five, okay? And so we wanna use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint. So let's use our formula. Let's call this one x1, y1 here, and x2, y2. It's always good to label that. So now we just do our formula, or use a formula. For the x values, we have seven plus x2, which is nine, over two. Our y values, same thing. y1 is a negative two, plus y2, which is five, over two. So from there, let's simplify here. Simplify that. Seven uh, plus nine is, we have eight, or oh, sorry, <laughs> Seven plus nine, oh my goodness, it's not eight, it's 16, I was gonna head it myself, over two. And then negative two plus five is a three over two. We can simplify that even more, and 16 divided by two is eight, and three over two is three oh, halves, right there. And so, our midpoint here is eight comma three over two of our points seven, negative two, and nine, comma, five. So let's do another one here, number eight. Let's say we're given a circle, and we're gonna find the center of the circle. The circle has diameter at endpoints, uh, it has a diameter with the endpoints of negative one, comma, negative four, and five, negative four. And we can use the midpoint formula there to find the center of the circle. Again, if you look at the circle here, Remember, there's a center, we have a diameter, let's say, these are the two points there, the end points of the diameter, the center of that circle is the midpoint. Okay, so let's use our formula. Again, do the same one here. Let's label this one x1, y1, and x2, y2. Using our formula here for the midpoint, we have x1, <clears throat> negative one, plus x2, which is five, over two, and same with the y's, negative four, y1, plus a negative four, y2, over two. Let's simplify that. Negative one plus five here is a uh, four over two. And negative four plus negative four is a negative eight over two. Simplify both of those. Four divided by two is two. And negative eight divided by two is negative four. And so the center of our circle and our midpoint here is two comma negative four. Now you should know how to find or use the midpoint formula. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com